Okay, a quick comparison of the Tarp Tent Stratosphere LI and the Z-Pax Triplex. Here's the Stratosphere. It's in 0.51 Dyneema. It's a little bit lighter Cuban fiber fabric than the um, Tarp Tent. You'll notice that there's not a whole lot of ropes hanging off it, whereas the Tarp Tent, this is actually a three-person tent, we bought we opted for the heavier Dyneema fiber because we thought we would need it. So it could have been a very pretty good little tent. I really like the outside doors on the Stratosphere. They're zippered down, uh, which provides a full seal. They're uh, pretty well constructed. And if you can see, you zip it up from the bottom all the way, and it, the, uh, uh, it maintains its structure all the way through. When it's open, it doesn't flop free or, or whatnot. Uh, zips completely from the inside, so I don't have to reach my hands around the outside to do it. It has this cute little magnet uh, that it could probably use another magnet, which actually provides Cuban on the inside of the door so the water doesn't come through. On the triplex, on the other way, you have this clip system. It doesn't close completely, and it's not quite as watertight, and quite frankly, it's not as easy to use. Your hands are getting all wet in there, and you have to reach out to this toggle to open things up. The vestibules on the two tents, while the triplex is a three-person tent, the vestibule is a whole lot smaller. Uh, you can see it's 26 inches here. Now, mind you, that's an equilateral triangle on the... Uh, Stratosphere, it's a funny shaped triangle, but it's a heck of a lot bigger. You can see it here at, uh, what, just at 34 inches of space. So the space that we lost for sleeping, we, we gained for gear and the vestibules. And my wife and I use a double pad, so the pad that you see in there is a double wide pad. Here it is on the uh, Stratosphere. It fits in nice and neat with the vestibules. Um, and you'll note that the bug net comes all the way down so you never touch the inside of the fiber which is an absolutely wonderful thing because in the triplex we're constantly bumping in it and the uh, it gets wet, your, your bag will get wet. Now note the door shapes are kind of a D-shaped. Uh, they're really good for slipping in and out from underneath if you're trying to run away from a swarm of mosquitoes, but you don't open up the entire door uh, like you can over on the, uh, on the triplex. The thing about the doors on the triplex, they're these big rainbow doors and they do open very, very well. Uh, the problem is when you unzip them, they fall right down on the ground in the mud and you're going over the door rather than under the door to get into the tent. So, um, you know, other than complete ease of exit, which there's plenty in the triplex, I think that the uh, Stratosphere is a better design here. You notice that the bathtub floor in here is quite a lot larger because it is the three-person version rather than the two-person version. It's not the duplex. We managed to get ourselves and our gear in here most nights. The build quality is not even close. The uh, Stratosphere, uh, if you look at it, you look at the seams, and I'll follow the seams along here in just a moment, but the seams are double stitched on the double tape and, and the tolerance is it doesn't wave around a whole bunch it's all uh, right up the middle of the tape but when you look over of course over at the z-packs and I bought the z-packs about a year and a half ago uh, it's December 2019 now but if you look at that it's a single stitch and the width it just wanders all over the tape almost it's just not not a good build quality you see how narrow it gets there right by the loop and then it uh, cuts its way back out Ventilation. The uh, the triplex has this little ventilation thing. Well, the uh, excuse me, the triplex uh, opens up to be nice and big. Now, if you notice, it folds a certain way, and you have to be facing upwind uh, of it. The wind is coming this way; uh, is going to balloon the thing out. So, in the uh, Stratosphere, uh, you have this little vent there. I'm not convinced that it does too much for the condensation, but you don't touch the walls. Finally, there's the uh, packing it down and how small it is. The shape of the, uh, on the left there is the uh, um, Stratosphere, on the right is, that's the triplex there. It packs down and I can stuff it down into the bottom of my pack pretty easily. This one I can't stuff down into the bottom of my pack, but it doesn't take up any more room. It's not really a fair comparison because the triplex is, is just a bigger, bigger tent. So what I'll show you is I have a Gossamer Gear um, 
the Mariposa 60 is what I carry, and I can stuff the um, Z-Pax tent here. You see it's stuffed into the bottom with plenty of extra room for stuff to pile on top of it uh, with the um, um, Z-Pax triplex. But and it, it you know it's in the, it's stuck pretty good in the bottom. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space in the middle. Now the tarp tent uh, fits right up the middle pretty well, but it doesn't. Um, it, you can't lay it sideways, so it doesn't fit in that. All in all, they're both pretty good tents. Uh, I prefer the triplex. Excuse me, the uh, Stratosphere. I think it's better built. Uh, it's better for four season. I can't trust the condensation, and it's just a better tent all the way around.